Yeah, we spoke earlier today, we talked about a variety of subjects, but subject number one, Tiffany, has to be Hurricane Michael. You'll recall last October when that storm made landfall in the Florida Panhandle with just devastating results, especially in the coastal town of Mexico Beach, it was labeled as a Category 4, even though the central pressure, 919 millibars, would make it the third lowest pressure in recorded history of a storm making landfall even lower than Hurricane Andrew. Well, all of that changed last week from a 4 to a 5 when the Hurricane Center officially on Friday upgraded Michael to a Category 5. So I did talk to Kent earlier today and I asked him what were the factors that went into making that change. There's so much data, some of which we don't have real time. So you're looking at radar data from surface-based radars. You're looking at observation data. You're looking at aircraft data. You're looking at satellites. So all this has to be assimilated and, and to be studied to find out what the determination of the wind speed is. And it takes a while to get all that data to make that assessment. At first, it seemed like a slam dunk. Yeah, we have a Category 5, and in fact, we do. But it took a while for all that data to be put together and for the experts at the Hurricane Center to make that assessment. So now, Michael joins a very small group. Only four hurricanes, Category 5, have made landfall in the United States. And you may not like this, but three have hit Florida. We had Michael last year, 1992, Hurricane Andrew, and of course back in the 30s, 1935, the Labor Day storm of 1935. Those are three of the four. The fourth Category 5 storm to make landfall, not far from here actually, just down the road in Mississippi, that was Hurricane Camille back in 1969. We'll bring